Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now till this point we have talked about functions and in that functions we were passing some arguments, right? So we tried different type of arguments, we have tried positions, default, right? Now can we pass a list of elements? Is it possible? Because see, we were passing one or two elements or we were using uh, the variable length argument. Can I pass a list? So we'll try, we'll try a simple example here just to make you understand how can you pass a list and then we'll try to return multiple values. Not just one, a function can return multiple values, right? We have tried that. We have done that so we will create a function which will take multiple values or which will take a list and it will return multiple values as well so if i pass a list uh, in that list you will be having multiple values you just need to return uh, the number of even numbers and odd numbers right so we have to return two values the number of even numbers and number of odd numbers so the problem statement is uh, if a user gives you a list of elements you need to pass that list in a function that function will return you the number of even and odd numbers and then you have to return two values right so let's let's do it so what i want is i want to create a function which will return me two values one is even number and odd number I mean number of even numbers and number of odd numbers in the list and the function name is let's say count and this count will take a list right and we don't have a list here so let's get a list so if the list is equal to again you can take this input from the user okay so you can try that as an assignment you have to take this list as as a user input so let's take the input from the user Okay, so now we got some values. Okay, I don't know how many even numbers and odd numbers are there. Let me just count it here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we have six even numbers and then we have one, two, three odd numbers. I guess let's count it with a code. Okay, and that's why we create software, right? Because we are very bad with calculation. Uh, so here I will just pass the list and it will count. So we don't have this function count here. So let's define it. So I will say define a count and this will take a list, of course, and let's define it. Let's create something so I will take two values here one is even which will count the even numbers initial value of even will be zero and we'll say odd numbers initial value of odd will be zero okay now once I've got these two variables the next thing we have to do is we have to use a for loop right because we need to increment the values so I will say for i in lst and every time you get an even number or an odd number you just need to increment even or odd right so in this case you will use a condition if else right so you will say if i mod 2 is equal to equal to zero that means it's an even number if it is true then you will say even plus equal to one that's simple right and then in the else part you will say uh, odd right so odd plus equal to one so every time you get the even number you will increment the value of even every time you get an odd number you will say increment the value of odd now once you have done that you will simply return two values now one is even and one is odd so there's no compulsion that your variable name should be same as the global so you can see here we are using even here we are using even so there's no compulsion that you have to, it should be same you can say eo that's fine completely fine now once you got these two variables here let's print even and also print odd okay and let's run this code and it works you can see we got six even numbers and we got three odd numbers you can actually count it okay or you can also print this in a proper format i don't i'm not a big, big fan of format but let's try so i will say even and then i will give i will give a colon i want to print even colon value and then odd colon a uh, value so here i want to replace this with the actual values right so the curly package should be replaced with the actual value and that's where we use a string which is a string which is even number and then odd we have to use dot so in string we have this option of function so we have to say dot format because this format is a function belongs to string and we have to pass two parameters here the first one is even value and odd value because we have to replace two uh, formats right this one and the next curly brackets and let's run this and we got it we got even six and odd three so that's what in this we have we have talked about uh, you can try different examples here you can check uh, how many so you have assignment here the assignment is take 10 names from the user and then count and display the number of users who has length more than five letters okay so that's your assignment uh, so that's it see you in the next video i hope you enjoyed this series let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos Bye bye